In the world of music production, clarity and punch are essential. Fuser is the ultimate solution for creating sonic clarity in messy mixes. Fuser takes on the challenge of conflicting channels from multiple angles, including volume balance, phase optimization, and mid-side specific side-chain ducking. With Fuser's smart conflict detection and groundbreaking Resolve Conflicts feature, you'll effortlessly find a great starting point to fix those audio clashes without overdoing it. What is side-chaining and why is it useful? Creating space in a mix through side-chaining is straightforward. You identify two channels in a similar frequency range fighting for space in your mix, such as your kick and bass or vocals and piano. With side-chaining, you give one priority over the other. You might use Fuser on your bass and side-chain the kick so the bass ducks out of the way to make room for your kick, allowing it to punch through the mix. Fuser is also super effective on musical elements such as guitars, pianos and synths to carve out space for your vocals so they can be the focal point for your song. Fuser Quick Start Identify two conflicting channels and add Fuser as the final plugin on the submissive channel. Set the plugin wrapper's sidechain to the dominant channel. For example, if the kick and bass are clashing in the mix, place Fuser on the bass and sidechain the kick. The frequency display shows the dominant sidechain signal as a white line and the submissive signal in grey. Red glow indicates mid-channel conflict and yellow glow indicates side-channel conflict. The input gain level match pointer shows the gain adjustments needed to match the perceived volume of your submissive channel to the side-chained audio. This simple target helps you set a great relative volume balance, whether you want the submissive channel to be equally loud or slightly quieter than the dominant channel. Click the Resolve Conflicts button to automatically initiate processing that transparently resolves channel conflict and frequency masking without overdoing it. To manually create a node, double-click the frequency display. Drag the node down to increase the processing amount. Then adjust mid, side, cue, attack and release individually. Click the small triangle button in the top right to listen to the delta signal. It will assist you in setting the perfect attack and release settings. If you need to reduce phase cancellation and make your layered sound shine, Fuser has you covered. The innovative Phase Analyze feature automatically finds the optimal phase rotation, ensuring minimal phase cancellation when layering similar sounds, such as kicks and basses. Once you hear the breathtaking results, you'll never layer sounds without Fuser again. The left-hand scale is the input peak and helps you set the node threshold as it relates to the sidechain signal. You'll see the delta, or frequency and time-specific processing of your audio, displayed by the white fill dropping from the top of the frequency display. The scale on the right side shows the decibel reduction of the audio. The input and output meters display momentary, short-term and integrated LUFs of the signal. Click on the meters to select the numerical readout you want to view. Once the sidechain is enabled, you can see the input loudness of both the channel you're working on and your sidechain channel relative to each other. The sidechain loudness is represented by a thin gray line on the input meter. Optimizing the relative gain is crucial for channels to work harmoniously. For instance, if you want your kick and bass to have equal loudness, you'd aim to align the meters. The level match pointer can assist in achieving this. In another scenario, if you want your guitar to be slightly behind your vocal, you'd want the guitar meter to be quieter than the vocal. Adjust the input and output gain to optimize the volume balance. You can adjust the phase rotation of your audio by plus minus 180 degrees. This can help reduce phase cancellation where frequencies overlap, especially when layering samples or similar sounds. The innovative Phase Analyze feature listens to the combined signal of the original and side chain channels and analyzes every phase position between minus 180 and plus 180 degrees. It automatically identifies and sets the optimal phase rotation 
ensuring minimal phase cancellation when layering similar sounds, such as kicks and basses. You can use the phase filters to focus the phase adjustments to only process a specific range. The filter visual shows the most significant areas with phase conflicts as a red glow to help you set the range more efficiently. Double-click anywhere within the frequency display to create a node and initiate dynamic frequency reduction. The node's vertical position determines the threshold. Position the node at the peak level of the side chain signal where you want the dynamic ducking to trigger. Hover over a node and scroll to adjust the cue or use the knob in the control panel. On hover over, you'll also find solo, bypass and delete buttons for each node. Click and drag to select and adjust multiple nodes. Each node can process audio anywhere within the mid-side spectrum or full stereo field. This is adjustable using the knob in the control panel. Nodes that are mid-focused will display an M, whereas side-focused nodes will display an S. When you use the Resolve Conflicts feature, nodes automatically initiate the appropriate mid-side setting. By isolating a node's processing to either the mid or side channel, you can resolve conflicts more efficiently without needlessly affecting parts of the signal that are not in conflict. Attack sets how fast the gain reduction reacts after the side chain signal level surpasses a node's threshold. Release sets how fast the gain reduction returns to zero after the side chained audio no longer exceeds a node's threshold. Pro tip, engage delta and solo the two conflicting channels. Then, set the attack and release so the delta signal is heard in unison with the sidechain signal. This will help you set a tight and controlled sound. Mix affects the overall dynamic processing of all nodes. Mix does not affect the input gain, output gain, or the phase adjustments. Plugins can't detect the fader levels of DAWs. The fader levels can significantly affect the loudness relationship between two channels. Fuse's default analysis assumes that the two conflicting channel faders are set to zero decibels. Where this is not the case, and you cannot insert Fuser as a post-fader plugin, you can open Gain Stage Fix, enter the fader amounts, and Fuser will adjust the analysis calculation accordingly. In audio, it's important to ensure that all processing contributes positively to the mix and brings you closer to your desired sound. Clicking the Delta button allows you to solo the elements Fuser is removing from your mix. Reiterating our earlier tip, engaging Delta and soloing your sidechain signal allows you to set an attack and release time that perfectly aligns with the sidechain signal. This ensures tight and transparent ducking only occurring when necessary while leaving the rest of your signal clear. The bypass button will let you preview the before and after results of the processing with the latency adjusted. The AB button allows you to quickly switch between two different states of the plugin. This enables you to try a different approach to your audio to see what works best. The arrow above the AB button copies the active state to the inactive state. This allows you to keep the current settings of the plugin in the inactive state and make a few adjustments in the active state to see if you can improve the sound. You can then jump between A, B to see which you prefer. In settings, use zero latency IIR filters when you don't want to affect the transients of your audio or if your DAW does not compensate for sidechain latency. Use the linear phase FIR filters when you don't want to affect the phase relationships of your audio. Conflict sensitivity sets the level at which conflict is detected. This figure affects the conflict display and the Resolve Conflicts button results. For example, if set to 3 decibels, Resolve Conflicts would initiate ducking that would keep the submissive channel at least 3 decibels quieter than the side chain loudness. The conflict sensitivity range is 0 decibels to 9 decibels. Thanks so much for watching. We truly hope Fuser helps you quickly and transparently resolve conflicts, bringing clear sounding definition to your mixes with ease. We're here to help if you run into any problems or have any questions.